Well, for the, I think, third month in a row, Bold and the Beautiful is in ninth place in my soap opera rankings. We're talking June 2022. Bold and the Beautiful could easily be in last place. It's, it's really hard to decide between Days, General Hospital, and Bold and the Beautiful which one is actually the worst because they all have extremely terrible writing. So you can really pick and choose, honestly. I wouldn't be mad if you said Bold and the Beautiful was in last place right now because I can see the argument as to why it should be. The biggest argument is because Bradley Bell writes like a sixth grader. Constantly, I, I mean, I genuinely think some middle schoolers could probably write better stories than Brad Bell. Like, I don't know about all of y'all, but, you know, when I was in middle school, most of my crushes on girls were because they were hot, basically. I had crushes on cute girls, and I feel like that is how Bold and the Beautiful is written. Except these aren't middle schoolers. These are grown-ass adults who all of their relationships are just written so shallow and have been for over a decade now, but it's it's coming to the forefront again with the the Carter and Quinn and Paris and Zende and Donna and Eric mess. But it, it also is a bad problem with the Brooke Taylor Ridge triangle, which has always kind of been the case, at least in recent history of this triangle. It's always been so shallow that these two women will just let Ridge pick and choose which one of them to be with and, th and they can't move on with their own lives. It's written without layers. And that's how everything is written on Bold and the Beautiful. There is exactly zero layers to any storyline. It's just who wants to be with who this month? And, and, and what shallow reason do they want to be with this person this month? The relationships on this show rough. And I think that's why when Finn was killed off, it was so, it was seen as so bad because Finn and, and, and Stephanie are kind of refreshing for Bold and the Beautiful. Yes, they're kind of a boring couple, but at least it seemed like there was maybe some actual love there because the rest of the show doesn't have love. It's all about lust and middle school-like relationships for adults. So we're just really with this whole storyline where Eric and Donna are having an affair. This was after Quinn and Carter had an affair. This is after Paris left Zende to be with Carter, even though Zende still wants Paris. Like, <sighs> Bold and the Beautiful had tried to make two triangles become one giant six-way triangle right now. And it sucks. I hate it. I think the character of Carter is basically ruined at this point. And isn't this man supposed on, to be on the writing team, but he lets this happen to his own character? That's odd to me. This is very odd to me. The character of Carter just seems like he goes dumb for any woman that shows any interest in him. Like, he is just super desperate to be with any woman who shows interest in him. But he is clearly wants Quinn, who is about to be available after she finds out about the Eric and Donna affair... Yet he's agreeing to marry Paris, and he's making Paris's very annoying mother look very right about him. So I don't know how they're going to write this all, but everybody in the storyline looks bad. So we have six characters involved in this, and they're all going to come out of the story looking bad. And that's some pretty bad writing. But I think the, the biggest story for June and Bold and the Beautiful was the fact that Finn is uh, alive, and Lee had been keeping her son. Steffi ended up going to Europe because the actress is having a baby. So that's left us with Sheila in prison. Sheila easily getting out of prison. Sheila's old friend from the 90s helped the, the character of Mike. But we didn't even get to see him help her escape prison because Bold and the Beautiful has to write at whiplash speed kind of robbing the audience of things they might want to see you know seeing an old past character help sheila is something the audience wants to see but no we have to skip right over that and have sheila go right to lee and have sheila discover that finn's alive and it's basically finn's two psycho moms kind of arguing with each other and lee trying to pretend she's going to go along with Sheila's plans, but then this dumbed down writing from the 
wannabe middle schooler Brad Bell writes Lee talking to the cops right outside the door where she lays. Making Lee look super dumb. They write Lee is dumb here so that Sheila can overhear. I did enjoy the fact that Lee got to kick kick Sheila's butt there for a while in their little scrappy fight before Lee escaped. But then we have a basically a char a car chase where uh, Sheila chases Lee's car, hits the back of it, and for whatever reason, Lee's car goes up in flames from Sheila just hitting the back of the car. That made no sense. And then Lee drives off a bridge. Or, or like just drives off the edge of the sh- I didn't understand this this car chase because where Lee was driving she was going to drive into the ocean anyway so it looked dumb that Lee was just trying to drive into the water I guess despite Sheila hitting her from the back it, it just reminded me of when Reva kind of drove off the bridge and, and guiding light and died back in the early 90s but at least Riva was, you know, had a reason she was losing it. So yeah, on one hand, I appreciate the over-the-top nature of Bold and the Beautiful. Because A, at least things actually happen. But I, unlike some of these other soap operas like General Hospital and even Emmerdale. But the writing becomes so dumbed down and, and it's always so shallow. It's been shallow writing forever now, it seems like. The show can do nothing but triangles for decades on decades. But there's nothing compelling about anything going on because of they had to dumb down Lee here and, and then they didn't even follow up. I'm recording this on the Friday, June 24th, and I don't know when this is going to air on my YouTube channel. But I'm not going to see any follow up on the cliffhanger of Lee going uh, into the ocean because they didn't follow up on that on Thursday and Friday. That cliffhanger happened on a Wednesday and there's no follow up on Thursday or Friday that's bad soap opera to me. But I'm assuming they probably killed off Lee, which is a bad decision in my opinion. Arguably a worse decision than killing off Finn because Lee's actually entertaining and Finn could be boring. But I get why the uh, the Finn being killed off was so controversial because there was actually a couple on this show, like I talked about earlier, that actually showed some love for each other that wasn't completely shallow like the rest of the series. Anyway, Bold and the Beautiful remains in ninth place, can easily fall further, could arguably be in last place. I would take that argument. The show continues to write women as dumb. It has a very long history. It's like a tradition on Bold and the Beautiful that the women have to be written as dumb and weak and needing men. But well, this is where we're at. I don't hate the Lee Finn Sheila stuff. I've always enjoyed the character of Sheila and she make she definitely has made the rest of the show which is normally boring triangles at least be entertaining. And Kimberlyn Brown who has played Sheila has done a hell of a job since coming back to the Bold and the Beautiful. She's been acting her ass off most of the time. But we'll see where we go from here with Bold and the Beautiful. You know, on one hand at least Bold and the Beautiful gives us entertainment unlike a lot of the soap operas in my rankings but yet the writing is so dumb and so middle school that is it's hard to to watch most of the time it feels like bold and beautiful is trying to be a satire of a soap opera how ridiculous things are like like lee's car exploding from being hit in the back of the car but most of the american soap operas have been like that for a long time so i can't just say that's bold and the beautiful but either way, I'm keeping bold at ninth place in my rankings for June 2022.